E16 Ekimonulum project is highway public road project in the area of Yenake, north of Oslo. The 12.4 km new road will be constructed between Egimon and Ulum, an area that is geotechnically characterized by sandy soils. An important part of the project is the 600 meter long bridge over the river, Danselva, between Yenake and Hernefoss. Keller Geotechnik took part in the project for the foundation of the bridge, applying several geotechnical solutions such as board piles of 1.5 meter diameter and steel core piles of 273 millimeter diameter. The first step of the production consisted of drilling casings down into bedrock or down to the desired depth. The soil is simultaneously removed with an auger or a drilling bucket while drilling down. When the rock bed is reached, other drilling tools are used to chisel the casing down in the rock, and in the end, the pile foot is cleaned. In this project, a casing diameter of 1.5 meter was used. Keller totally installed 40 board piles in three bridge accesses on both sides of the river, with depths ranging from 15 to 32 meter. 24 of the piles were socketed down 0.5 meters in the bedrock in the main bridge axis, while 16 were made as friction piles in the sandy soils on the Egimon side. The prefabricated reinforcement cages, consisting of 32mm rebars, was connected together on site by welding to reach the necessary lengths. The inspection pipes was also installed in this stage. Each cage was lifted by the drilling rig, centered, submerged and secured in the casing cavity. The next cage was then connected by welding and until the cages reached the final depth of the column. Spacers of either concrete or stainless steel was used to achieve the necessary concrete cover. The rock in the area consisted mainly of very hard manite with compressive strength 200 MPA and layers of softer black shale. The piles had to be drilled down and into the harder rock. Due to the high water table in the main bridge axis, the casings had to be filled with water during excavation of soil to prevent inflow in the pile footing. After the reinforcement cage is in place, the concreting starts immediately. A tremi pipe is lowered all the way to the bottom of the pile with a hopper in the top. Concrete is then poured down through the tremi pipe and flows out in the pile foot. The tremi pipe is always submerged several meters in concrete during casting. When the casing is water filled, a ball is inserted in the tremi to prevent separation of the concrete. A special underwater concrete is also used in the bottom part of the pile. After the installation of the piles, the concrete integrity was checked with cross-hole sonic logging, where four probes were sent down to the bottom of the columns via four pre-installed inspection pipes mounted on the reinforcement cages in each pile. The casing and tremi pipe is extracted during the concreting while always keeping a good distance between the lower casing and the concrete front. This is necessary to be able to get the casing out due to increased friction between casing and concrete. Each section of the casing is unscrewed, cleaned, moved and used again for the next pile. drilling 
treatments and injections was also done to verify a good transition between pile and bedrock. After all piles have been produced, the concrete in the first meter of the pile will be chiseled away with only the reinforcement sticking out. Works then starts with the construction of the foundation and then later on the bridge itself. Thank you.